Senator, even before Iowa's abortion ban went into effect, you say state Republicans were already making it harder for women to get proper reproductive care. How so? Yeah, that's right. When Republicans took full control over the state house, the first bill that they passed was a ban on family planning services, um, barring women from going to get their family planning services from many of the top um, top health professionals in our state, anyone whose um, organization provided abortion care was not allowed to participate in the program. Um, and they made taxpayers foot the bill. And interestingly enough, um, on their own taxpayer health insurance, they could still take their families wherever they wanted to go for family planning. But for thousands of Iowa women, they couldn't get their health screenings or um, their family planning from the doctor or provider of their choice. We're seeing in Iowa what we've seen in other states where you have doctors who are saying, we're not clear on what we can and can't do when it comes to these penalties, these exceptions to the new bans. What are the core concerns? Well, the rules have um, not been established for the bill yet, and the the bill um, was signed into law. So doctors are unclear of when they can um, help a pre pregnant woman or girl because it's very unclear the way the bill is written. One example was a doctor that worried about if someone comes in with an atopic pregnancy, will they be able to um, provide care if there's some electrical current in, in that they see on an ultrasound um, it still is not clear um, about the exceptions and the reporting. How do you report rape? How do you report incest? There's nothing laid out in the bill on how that's done. There's also concerns about what will happen if there's records of that, especially we have an AG um, in our state right now that's already cut off care to young um, rape victims for emergency contraceptives, as well as um, uh, care for them if they need abortion care services. I, I realize that a lot of this is going to play out legally in the courts. I, I wonder for you as a member of a legislative body, if you think that there are still wins to be had, if there are ways to protect care on the part of the legislature, given this new reality. Well, we're really hopeful that um, the judge will rule to put this um, bill on hold while it works its way through the courts right now, um, because we have seen, um, you know, the Republicans in the Iowa Senate and Governor Reynolds screaming freedom, and it's anything but freedom. They have um, barred uh, Iowa women from getting their care, um, their family planning from different family planning services. We've lost 20 labor and delivery departments since Governor Reynolds Reynolds uh, took over the governor's office. Um, we um, even saw Senate Republicans as early as just two months ago. Um, they voted against providing uh, um, providing um, postpartum care extension to 12 months for new moms. We're one of just a handful of states that is not providing 12 months of care after a mom has a baby. They provide the least level of care, which is 60 days right now.